electrician, didn't it? Real live why he was. Only one watt, but plenty of volts, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything in trousers, yes. Or out of them, preferably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. No, just lighting up. Go on. I know, I heard that with her mother in the same room. <laughs> no, no. No, no, of course I won't. Go on. <laughs> Basil? Yes, dear? Oh, no. Who saw them? Basil? Yes, dear? Could you come and attend to a gentleman out here, dear? Nineteen? What, you mean out where you are, dear? Well, the last one was only twenty-two. It was. That's right. I'm quite busy in here, dear. Are you very busy out there? I'm on the telephone, Basil. My husband will be with you in a moment. Yeah, thank you. So <clears> I'll <throat> stop work and come out there, shall I, dear? No, no, no. The Maltese one. Well, I'm glad that's settled then. <laughs> no, no, dear. He was an Arab. Darling, when you've finished, uh, why don't you have a nice lie down? <laughs> I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting, sir. I had no idea my wife was so busy. Fear not, kind sir. It matters not one whit. Beg your pardon? <laughs> it matters not one whit. Time is not pressing on me, fortunately. Now, some information, please. This afternoon, I have to visit the town for sundry purposes which would be of no interest to you, I'm quite sure. But nevertheless, I shall require your aid in getting for me some sort of transport, some hired vehicle, that is, to get me to my first port of call. Are you all right? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I find the air here most invigorating. I see. What well, did I gather from your first announcement that you want a taxi? In a nutshell. Case, more. Right. <laughs> At two o'clock, please. Well, there's the number of the local firm. Um, now, please, please, could you get it for me? Because I never use the telephone if I can avoid it. Why not? Risk of infection. So, when I finish, right? Now, I have a rendezvous at five o'clock at this address, which I must reach from the post office in Queen Square. Now, as the map is sadly inadequate, I would be very grateful if you could draw me a diagram of the optimum route. Well, I mean, um, may I ask what's wrong with the map? Well, it's got curry on it. <laughs> well, look, it's perfectly simple. You go to the end of uh, Queen's Parade you, and... Uh, no, uh, just listen. No, I just want a diagram, No, it's please. really very simple. Well, I'd rather have a diagram if it won't put you out. Well, it does put me out. Well, I'd <laughs> like it all the same. Basil! Right. Yeah, then. We do have pens. Oh, yeah? We have actually got pens in the hotel, thank you so much. Somewhere. I mean, where are the pens? I mean, would you believe it? I mean, there are no pens here. I mean, this is supposed to be a hotel. Well, what are they doing in there? I put them there. Why? Just sign there, Mr. Walt, because you're always losing them, Basil. I am not always losing them. People take them. Well, they don't take them from me. They wouldn't dare. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I didn't guess that you'd suddenly done that after 12 years, dear. I'm afraid my psychic powers must be a little bit below par this morning. There we are. Don't be silly, Basil. It's written there quite clearly on the top of the box. Pens? It's more like Ben's to me. Well, when Ben comes, you can give it to him. <laughs> Mr. Walt's in room seven. What do you think? Doesn't that look like Ben's to you? Not really. Well, it does to me. Look, there's a peak. No, I don't yeah. quite understand this. Where is the post office? Uh, it's there, where it says post office. I'm sorry if it's confusing. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. P off. Yeah, you've used the abbreviation. Ah, the penny's dropped. Yeah, well, I thought it said boff. Of course. Yes, and I thought the boff was a locale, you see, a name of a district, you see. Mm. That P looks like a B. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. A little loop on Excuse the me, bottom of it. Excuse me, would you say that was a P or a B? <laughs> uh, there, there. Does it say boff or does it say poff? Well, I... There, there. It's a P, isn't it? I suppose so. P off. A big off. P off. P off. Who ever heard of a post office? <laughs> nine. What? Room nine. Room seven. Uh, Manuel, would you take these cases to room seven, please? Okay. <laughs> He thinks boff is a locale. He thinks what? You know, some zone, some uh, province in equatorial Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Manuel, we'll uh, show you to your room, if you're lucky. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, in how many minutes does luncheon commence, please? Twelve. Here, I'll write it down for you. Well, twelve. Yes, there you are. Don't forget the taxi, will you? Two o'clock. Yes, and if anybody wants me, I'll be in the lounge. If anybody wants you... I'll be in the lounge! Anyone in particular? I mean, Henry Kissinger? <laughs> Just anyone with a big net. I don't know what it is about this place. I mean, some of the people we get in here... What are you on 
there. I wish you'd help a bit. You're always refurbishing yourself. What? Oh, never mind, never mind. Don't shout at me. I've had a difficult morning. Oh, dear, what happened? Did you get entangled in the eider down again? <laughs> Not enough. <another. laughs> or did you have to talk to all your friends for so long you didn't have time to perm your ears? <laughs> Actually, Basil, I've been working. <laughs> You know what I mean by working, don't you, dear? I mean getting things done as opposed to squabbling with the guests. I would find it a little easier to cope with some of the cretins we get in here, my little nest of vipers, if I got a smidgen of cooperation from you. Cooperation? That's a laugh. The day you'll cooperate, you'll be in a wooden box. I've never heard such rudeness. Look, if you think I'm going to fawn to some of the yobbos we get in here. This is a hotel, Basil, not a borstal. And it might help business if you could have a little more courtesy, just a little. Well, I suppose talking to Audrey for half an hour helps business, does it? It was about business for your information. Audrey has some news that may interest you. Oh, really? This will be good. Uh, let me guess. Uh, the mayor wears a toupee. Somebody's got nail varnish on his cats. Am I getting warm? <laughs> there are some hotel inspectors in town. What? <laughs> uh, what does she know? That's all she knows. Well, well, well how does she know? A friend of Bill Morton's overheard three men in a pub last night comparing notes on places they'd just been in Exeter. Three men. I'll call Bill. You don't have to call Bill, Basil. Just try to exercise a little courtesy. <laughs> Papers arrived faulty. Not yet. Uh, not yet, no, Major. No, sorry. Sorry. Could you do that in a moment, please? I'm on the telephone. Well, you haven't finished dialing yet, have you? Now listen, there is a documentary on BBC Two this evening about Squawking Bird, the leader of the Blackfoot Indians in the late 1860s. Now this starts at 8.45 and goes on for approximately three quarters of an hour. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Indeed I am, yes. Now is it possible for me to reserve the BBC Two channel for the duration of this televisual feast? Why don't you talk properly? <laughs> I beg your pardon? No, it isn't. What? It is not possible to reserve the BBC Two channel from the commencement of this televisual feast until the moment of the termination of its ending. Thank you so much. Oh, I see. Well, might I suggest, then, that you introduce such a scheme? No. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to tell you that I have a wide experience of hotels, and some of those of my acquaintance have had the foresight to introduce this facility for the benefit of their guests. No, oh, I see. You have a wide experience of hotels. Yes, you? in my professional activities, I am in constant contact with them. Are you? Are you really? Yes. Well, then, is it possible for me <laughs> to hire a television set to view the programme in the privacy of my own room? A big pardon? <laughs> Have you the facility to hire a television set to one of your guests? Uh... Good point. I'm glad you asked me that. I'm not as such. Oh. However, we do have plans to introduce such a scheme in the near future. Yes, well, that's not much use to me tonight, is it? Just... No, but I'll tell you what. Why don't I introduce another scheme uh, straight away along the lines that you've already suggested, by which I reserve the BBC Two channel for you tonight? Now, that's more like it. Oh, well, not at all. I mean, that's what we're here for, isn't it? Yes. Is there anything else before I call your taxi? Well, yes, there is. Somebody in there mentioned that you had a table tennis table. Indeed we do, yes. It is not in absolutely mint condition, but it could certainly be used in an emergency. Ah. It is to be found in the south wing, overlooking the courtyard, where there is, of course, ample parking. <laughs> ah, Polly, um, Mr Hutchinson, may I introduce Polly Sherman, who is Ooh. with us at the moment? How do you do? How do you do? Well, wait a, wait a minute. We've met before, I think. Yes, I served you at breakfast. Oh, yes, and you spilt the grapefruit juice, didn't you, you naughty girl? And you moved the glass, didn't you? Thank so you. Well. Thank you, Polly. Yes. Awfully nice girl. Very bright. She's a fully qualified painter, you know. Oh, really? Yes. 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 Ah, good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We do like to have girls that calibre that helps out. It does add a certain... Uh... Well, would you care to partake of lunch now? Well, look, well sure, it's not yet... Oh, uh, goodness it? me. We don't worry about things like that here. No fear. I mean, this is a hotel, not a borstal. That's <laughs> what? Have you... It's not half past yet. I was just saying to Mr Hutchison, dear, this is a hotel, not a borstal. Chef won't be ready, Basil. Uh, leave it to me, dear. Leave it to me. Did you ring Bill? Uh, no, dear. Not necessary. What? Uh, explain later, but I must look after Mr. Hutchison now. A Spanish <coughs> omelette. Yes, and all on the plate, please. Not on the tablecloth. <laughs> Excuse me. You're not by any chance the Duke of Kent, are you? No, 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 no. You got the wrong person there. Yes. Ah, Mr. Hutchison. <laughs> what do you say about? I'm going to have you a Spanish omelette. Splendid. Yes. Uh, I assume that all the vegetables within the omelette are fresh. Oh yes, yes. Including the peas. Oh yes, they're fresh, all right. Yeah, they're not frozen, are they? Uh, well, they're frozen, yes. 
Oh, I see. Well, they're the frozen, and they're not fresh, are they? Well, I assure you, they were absolutely fresh when they were frozen. Oh, dear. <laughs> There's a lot of this nowadays in hotels. A lot of what? Yes, I'll just have a cheese salad, please. What? Yes, I only eat fresh vegetables, you see. I'll just have a cheese salad. Well, we could always do the omelette without the peas. Oh, no, 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 no. I always feel that the peas are an integral part of the overall flavour, you know. Oh. And might I suggest that in future you avail yourself of sufficient quantities of the fresh article? Look, we've been... Yes, yes, good idea. <laughs> yes. Now, um, something to drink? Yes, I'll have a ginger beer, please. A ginger beer. G and a glass of fresh water. F fresh water, yes. Mr. Oh. Hutchison, what? telephone call for you at reception. Telephone? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. Clever. Clever. <laughs> Good afternoon. No. This <laughs> is no sun. It's no good for me. I beg your pardon? I'm homesick, yes. Is there anywhere you'd like me to sit? Okay. I'm in room seven. Oh, yes, please, here. Uh, you go up, up, all right, room seven. No, no. Yes, please, I show you. No, look, I want a table. A table? For one. A table one? Oh, please, yes, here. Yes. Uh, a table one. It's so sorry. Uh, here, here. A table one. Uh, yes, Thank you. See? Right. Uh, so sorry, but I think you say for room, and I do it, for I am uh, not one to know it easily. I'm sorry. No, no, it's my fault. Well, I'll try the patty and the lamb casserole. Uh, you room ten? No, room seven. Oh, seven, see. Yes. No, 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 this table one. It's Wednesday. Room seven is table five. No, please, here. Please, sir, please, sir. Please, sir. So sorry. It's, it's, oh, it's, uh, Yes, uh, so. seven is what I think you say. Uh, for uh, I uh, you, uh, como se dice in English, uh, pero solamente puedo uh, ver los números cuando los tengo delante. The patty and the lamb. Sí, patty lamba, patty lamba, patty lamba, patty lamba. Scrooge, Scrooge, sí, sí, patty lamba. One ginger beer and one glass of fresh water. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I... Well, you can't sit there. It's taken. Come on. Look, I've been moved once already. Well, you're in room seven, aren't you? Yes, but the waiter said table five. Well, this isn't table five. Oh. Come, would you come over here, please? I mean, this is table five here. Come on. Look, I did ask the waiter. <laughs> well, he's hopeless, isn't he? You might as well ask the cat. Now, come on, sit there. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Would you sit down, please? Thank hey, you. I hate to trespass further on your valuable time, but might I look at the wine list? Now? Yes, please. Excuse me. Here we are. <laughs> now. Could I have an ashtray, please? Thank you. I'll have a bottle of the Alex Cotton 65. The what? The Alex Cotton 65. Ah, the Cotton. Ah, but of course, my pleasure. Ah, oh, there you are, Mr. Hutchinson. Nice to have you back again. Yes, not too close, please, not too close. Oh, sorry. Um, I hope everything was to your satisfaction. Yes, well, your earpiece was very greasy. I've wiped it out for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, dreadfully greasy it was. I don't know who's been using it. Covered in broke room. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's tepid. It's te oh, have you got an ice bucket, please? An ice bucket? Please. Well, this ginger beer is distinctly warm. Ah, uh, Polly, an ice bucket for Mr. Hutchison, please. <laughs> Thank you. There we are, the four ton, 65. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I, uh, may I congratulate you on your choice? Yes, excuse me. Yes? I'm afraid this is corked. 
I just uncorked it. Didn't you see me? What? Look. No, no. No, you said I took it out of the bottle. That's how I managed to get the wine out of the bottle into your glass. I don't mean that. I mean the wine is corked. The wine has reacted with the cork. And so? The wine has reacted with the cork and gone bad. Gone bad? May I? Like a bottle that right, isn't that's caught. cost me, hasn't it? Well, never mind. I'll get you another bottle. I do hope you're all enjoying your meals. I said I hope you're all enjoying your meals. Uh, thank you, thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me, table five. Yes? Are you having the lamb or the mackerel? The lamb. I'll have another one standing by, just in case. <laughs> well, let's give this one a go then, shall we? Um, Polly, would you get Mr. Hutchison his main course, please? <laughs> so sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Hutchison. We'll be with you in just one moment. Thank you. Yes, dear? How are you getting on with your hotel inspector? Oh, fine, fine. He sells spoons. <laughs> Sorry? I listened in on his phone call. He works for a cutlery firm, but he specialises in spoons. <laughs> you listened in? Yes. You listened in on a private call of one of our guests? That's right, Basil. Little rat, I'll get him for that. Now, Basil, <laughs> try that on with me. Try what? Uh, Pretending he's a hotel inspector, uh, do we hire television sets, uh, fresh peas, ice buckets? That's me, it was your mistake. Now, you let me handle that. Basil! <laughs> this whole inspector business was in your own imagination. It's nothing to do with him. There is no excuse for rudeness. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! Good. <laughs> <laughs> Spoons, eh? I'm sorry? Spoons. <laughs> I beg your pardon, I understand you're in the spoon trade. Oh, well, yes, oh, yes. Fascinating, fascinating. <laughs> how, how absorbing for him. Yes, well, as much so much more interesting than being a hotel inspector! What? <laughs> well, thank you. What? No, dear, miss. Miss, miss? miss? Yes? Miss. I didn't order that. Uh, is there something we can get you, Mr. Hutchison? A tea cosy for your pepper pot, perhaps? <laughs> no, 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 no. I changed the order, you uh, see. What seems to be the trouble? Well, I thought Mr. Hutchison ordered an omelette. Uh, no, he went off it, Polly, so we changed the order. It's perfectly simple. Well, I'm sorry, but I wasn't told. Well, I told Chef, so he should have told you. Well, he didn't. Well, is that my fault? No, is it mine? No, it is. What? It's the chef's fault. A big pun? Well, clearly, in a case like this, where the order's been changed, the chef's been informed, it's his responsibility... You want to, to run the place? You are. You want to come and run the hotel? Oh, okay. <laughs> right, Mr. Hutchison's taking over, Polly, so I'll have the omelette. I'm sure with his natural <laughs> charm and white experience, there's been no more problems. Come on, can't sit around no, all day. No, there's lots to be done. No, 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 What is going on, Basil? Hello, dear. Well? Uh, is that better, Mr. Hutchison? What? Is that better? Oh, yeah, thank you, yes. Good, fine. good. Well, that's all sorted out, then. Good. Is there something wrong? Yes, there is, yes. I have been given an erroneous dish. Thank you, Basil. I'll deal with this. Thank you, Polly. Now, listen. Now, you see, I did order the omelette in the first place, but then I changed my mind. I see. Well, I'll just go in the kitchen and find out what's happened. Thank you. <laughs> Manuel? The bottle. Uh, yes. Where is it? Okay. A donde es. Uh... Oh, I take it. <sighs> I take it. I take it. Come here. Yeah. You're a waste of space. Oh! <laughs> there we are. No, 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 just a moment, please. Yes? I did not order that. You didn't? I did not. I'm sorry, there's an order for a patty for this table. Oh, dear me, things do seem to be going wrong today, don't they? Hello, uh, Sybil, taking care of things, are you? Yes, thank you, Good, Basil. everything's all right, then? Well, it appears that I'm We're being... We're just sorting it out, thank you, Basil. Yes. That's funny, you didn't order patty maize. No, you I did not. I ordered oh, well, the... Oh, I'll leave you to deal with it in the first place, and then... I... <laughs> how did you do that? What? But where did you get it? Where did I get it? That's right. I mean, how did you get it? Well, the waiter opened it for me. The waiter opened it for you? Yes. I, I've told you about him, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, for goodness 
is saying what is no. It? I, what is it? I did not order a lamb casserole. No, he didn't. He did not order one, Polly, so why has he got one? Because Mrs. Foley told me to give him one. I know how she feels. I've got one. <laughs> <laughs> Who took the order? I don't know. Manuel! I mean, look, how can, it be, how can it be so difficult to get a cheese salad? You want to run the place? No, no, no. I just right, want well, a cheese salad. Shut up, then. I beg your pardon. I'll get you a cheese salad. Mr. And don't listen to anyone. Just get him a cheese salad. Oh, See? Ah! Excuse me. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I do not want the cheese salad. I wish to cancel it. I'm not used to being spoken to like that, Mr. Faulty. And I've no wish to continue my lunch. Well, I do apologise if what I said just now seemed a trifle brusque. Brusque? It was rude, Mr. Faulty. I said rude. Well, I'm deeply sorry if it came over like that. I mean, nothing could have been further from my mind. You told me to shut up. No, no, he told me to shut up. You what? He said it to me. Oh, no, I was uh, looking at you, but I was talking to Polly, wasn't I, Polly? Oh, yes. Uh, did you notice then that I was looking at you but talking to her? What? You see, he was looking at you but talking to me, wasn't he? Wasn't I? What? So you weren't being rude, were you, Mr. Fawlty? Absolutely not. You see? Me? Yes? Yeah, but if you say shut up to somebody, that's the one you want to shut up, isn't it? Well, not necessarily. I'm sorry, were you talking to me? Yes. I beg your pardon. Ah, there, you see how easily these misunderstandings occur? Oh, yes, I do. So, one uh, <laughs> cheese salad then, please, Polly? Yeah. Certainly, Mr. Hutterson. And if there's anything else, please don't hesitate to ask. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's from Barcelona. <laughs> I, uh, I trust your patty was satisfactory? Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, good, good. The chef buys it himself, you know. Buys it? Oh, yes, insists on it. I imagine the uh, Corton complimented it delightfully? Yes, it's very good. Ah, excellent. More like a 66, really. Is it? Well, lots of body. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, quite right. Well, it's always a pleasure to uh, meet someone who appreciates the boudoir of the grape. I'm afraid most of the people we get in here don't know a Bordeaux from a claret. A Bordeaux is a claret. <laughs> oh, Bordeaux is a claret, yes, yes, but they wouldn't know that. No, you obviously drink a lot. Uh, Wine, I mean. Well, well, not. I mean, a fair amount. I mean, the right amount for a connoisseur. I mean, that doesn't mean you're a does it? I mean, some people drink it by the crate, but that's not being a connoisseur, that's just plain sloshed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bordeaux's one of the clarets, all right. One. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you're down here on business, are you? What? Uh, you're not in the wine trade, by any chance? No, we're not. We are? I'm down here on business with a couple of colleagues, and we are not in the wine trade. Ah, it's just that you're obviously so expert. No, I'm not expert. Oh, but you are. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I am not an expert. <laughs> three of you? What? <laughs> three, three of you? Yes, there are three of us. Well, the other two aren't here. They're staying at another hotel. Quite. <laughs> so, uh, it's all right, is it? What? Well, I mean, things in general. I mean, the wine's really good. Yes. And the pate was all right. Yes, I and said the, so. And the, the casserole? I haven't tasted it yet. Mmm. <laughs> I've not been given the chance. Oh, no, oh, come on, now, this is quite absurd. I'm I sorry, I, am, I do not want the omelette. It's nice. I don't want the bloody thing. I've sent it back once. Yes, give it to me. This, I fail to see how this sort of thing can happen. There, I've torn it up. You'll never see it again. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a cheese salad. Thank you, Polly. One cheese salad. There we are, sir. I'm so glad everything is to your satisfaction. No, it is not. It is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you were supposed to be running a hotel. My, that does it's, look good. Yes, I've, 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 I've had the omelette and then a prong cocktail with a bloody silly name. Look at that cheddar. Yes, delicious. Then I had a yes. plate of stew and then the bloody omelette again. Yes, well, can we keep it down? Well, I mean, all I wanted was a cheese salad. It yes. wasn't as though I'd Thank ordered an elephant seal on a bun, was Thank it? You, I mean, the whole thing please, is please. It's yes. ridiculous. Well, I'm glad we I saw mean, for a man right. who's yes. supposed please. to be running a hotel, <laughs> your behaviour, your behaviour is totally <laughs> Cheese. Yes, please. <laughs> What's happened? Uh, he fainted. Uh, uh, got a bit of cheese stuff. Uh, Basil, you do not faint. You get me the cheese stuff. Well, I was giving him a bit of a pat uh, on the back, and he sort of moved just as I was. Uh, what have you done, Basil? Uh, nothing. He moved just as I was trying oh to. Oh my sort of... God! Call the doctor. Look, I can handle call it. Call the doctor. I can handle it. Call the doctor. I can handle. Right. Obviously, I can't handle it. I'm just a great saber-toothed tart, so we let my husband do it. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry to have left you. Uh, I trust you enjoyed your meal? Yes, thank you. I was oh, wondering... The, the casserole was really good, was it? Well, it was adequate. Oh, quite, yes, exactly. I'm afraid our, our chef at lunch today is not our regular. Incidentally, I'm sorry about that poor chap choking himself like that. I was wondering if you had a telephone I might use. Oh, yes, please. Don't know how you managed to do it, but... Uh, thank you. 
Ha, ah, there he is. Good. Ah, Mr. Hutchinson, there you are. What does the fight just say about that bit of cheese getting stuck at the old windpipe like that? Would you like to uh, go in there and discuss it? No, I'd prefer to come in here and discuss it. Oh, fine. I'm afraid it's a little bit uh, of a mess. Of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that lie down seems to have done you some good. <laughs> 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 Sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Faulty. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. No, but when I'm insulted and, and, and then attacked, I prefer to rely on my own metal than call the police. Do you? Do yes, you I do. Now, stand up like a man. Come on. Bit of trouble with the old leg, eh? Rip, come <laughs> on! Yeah. Look what I found. Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I hope I've made my point. Absolutely, yes. I've been looking for that. Yes, I would just like to say... I'd just like to say that this hotel is extremely inefficient and badly run, and you are a very rude and discourteous man, Mr Faulty. <laughs> oh, I said something funny, Mr Faulty. Well, sort of pithy, I suppose. Really? Oh, really? Well, here's the punchline. <laughs> I'm going to fetch my belongings, and I do not expect to receive a bill. <gasps> You've handled that, then, have you, Bazza? <laughs> Yes, dear, thank you. Leave it to me. <coughs> uh, incidentally, I don't know if you realise, but he's a regular customer of ours. Oh, he loves it here. It's his second home. It's just that we always have to have this little... Uh, I don't know why, but he seems to like it. Really? Uh, it's the only danger is, though, that somebody's going to think he really isn't satisfied about something or the fighting's real. You know, and tell somebody. You won't mention it, will you? We'd love to offer you dinner here tonight as our guest to show our gratitude. What? A dinner tonight, would you? Would you? No, I can't tonight. Uh, thank you. Tomorrow night? I should be leaving tomorrow. I'm sorry. All right, fifty pounds then. <laughs> Take your part. Fifty pounds, not to mention it. Fifty pounds. So sixty, not to write about it. You know, I mean, articles, books, letters. Well, I'm afraid I really don't. Oh please, it's taken us twelve years to build this place up. Don't put this in the book. We're finished if you don't. Please don't. Book? What book? The hotel guy. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned it. The... Oh, what have I done? <laughs> but you've got me confused with someone else. I'm nothing to do with any hotel guide. I'm down here for the exhibition. I sell outboard motors. All right? Outboard <laughs> You're not an inspector? No. And not on the side? No. I swear to God. You, I tell you, I've, I've nothing to do with oh, it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I, don't know, I don't know how I, I can ever... Twenty-six bedrooms, twelve with private bathrooms. Yes, well, why don't you have dinner here and um, Chris and I can try the Claremont. OK. The other's one, Basil Fawlty. <laughs> uh, uh, please, uh, senor, uh, uh, Mr Fawlty wants to say adios. He wants to... Si. No, no, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, and what can I do for you three gentlemen? 